Hello everybody and welcome back to Screen Stars. I'm here today to bring you my review for the 2019 horror film Portal. A film that is co-written and directed by Dean Aliotto and it stars Ryan Merriman, Jamie Tisdale, Mick Watford and Heather Langenkamp. Yes, that Heather Langenkamp from A Nightmare on Elm Street films. Now, this is a horror film that focuses on a paranormal investigation team that is trying to make it big. They're trying to find that one investigation that's going to get them known, but they are increasingly frustrated by these other paranormal investigation teams that have made it big on the TV, um, and all they do is ham it up and um, basically do cheap tricks to get themselves known. Um, this team which is run by a guy called Stephen um, wants to do it the right way he wants to capture real things however all the investigations that they're doing they're finding nothing of, in, of note uh, and nothing interesting and they just can't seem to get themselves off the ground they then use the last bit of the budget they've got for filming their show uh, $5,000 to buy a tip from a local competitor um, to find one of the best local haunted houses um, they do this they find one and they decide to head out they decide to head out to this local haunted house and do another investigation in the hope that they will finally find um, something some paranormal footage that they can actually use and as you could imagine they find a little bit more than they bargained for now this film um i was quite excited about um i like one of my favorite horror films stroke found footage and this is not a found footage film uh, but i just wanted to mention it is grave encounters and it's a very very similar concept it's a paranormal investigation team going on an investigation and things go pear-shaped this is a very very similar concept it's just not done in a found footage format even though they are filming the tv show and stuff um, so I, I was quite looking forward to this film um, and there are aspects of this film that really are, pre are pretty decent and very very watchable and for example I'll give you some examples here in that it's, it's, it's quite a well made film yes it's low, it's low budget but it's got decent production values and it's got a good cast on hand here um, that make the story feel a little bit more believable and I think everybody does a decent job um, it, at times it looks a bit washed out in regards to how it looks and then at other times it looks absolutely fine um, and when they start doing their investigation and you know the, the lights go down and it all feels very moody and it's filmed quite effectively and stuff and um, that lot that all looks absolutely fine and the idea in the story here can always ter be turned into an effective horror film if done correctly the problem with this film for the most part is it's not scary enough i don't think it's scary enough and the when things start going wrong they make every mistake that you could conceivably make um yeah, these these are supposed to be paranormal investigators um and they make every single rookie mistake you can think of um and i will ask you this question if you went to a supposedly haunted house no matter how desperate you were to find footage and you stumbled across which is amusing in itself how they find this ritual they find this ritual um, and then they decide to reenact this ritual in the hope that it will stir something up um, or would you do that in a supposedly massively haunted location sorry but I just wouldn't do that so, uh, unless it was in massively controlled conditions and what are those controlled conditions who knows but they decide to do this and then they get really surprised when things get pear shaped <laughs> um, and from that moment on when they enact this ritual this film gets a bit messy um, you're not sure if it's like a, like a ghost paranormal story if it's like a demonic story it all, it all feels a bit messy it never really clarifies what it is and what's going on and why it's happening what is happening and then um, Heather uh, Langenkamp makes an appearance who has a connection to the house with and they go a bit poltergeist too here to get they bring this red indian guy uh, who can supposedly you know help and bless this house using his 
native Red Indian techniques and it all gets a bit generic and a bit well, we've seen all this before we've seen it done better um, and it, it just feels that from that moment on when as soon as they enact this ritual it just for me it got very very scrappy and messy and um, normally in films like this you're waiting for a trigger moment to, to get the scares going but the trigger moment in this film to get the scares going funnily didn't make the film scary it, it, it's, it's, it's really odd to say that really because it just I don't remember feeling scared at all watching this film I just thought it was quite amateur, amateurishly made in regards for delivering scares that just were not effective in any way shape or form I don't think so anyway which is a real shame because the potential here and the structure was here to deliver a fairly effective horror film um, they just didn't manage to do it the writing let it down and the way it was filmed let it down and it had a quite an odd soundtrack as well that I don't think helped it was a bit it was quite synth heavy and very cheesy and it, it, it wasn't in keeping I didn't feel for a horror movie like this and there were some moments of humour as well that felt a little bit out of place so I'm going to give it a 5 out of 10 I think it's a bit of a missed opportunity this film I didn't hate it I think it is watchable and I think you could potentially watch it and enjoy it a little bit more than I did because I don't think it's a terrible horror film or anything um, I just think like I say it's a bit of a missed opportunity um, so that is my review for Portal I hope you found it useful thanks for watching everybody and of course I'll see you next time on Screen Stars